the Crossroads Center here at Prescott College, we have an amazing event that we're doing that uh, I think I've got Hugh here. Now, Hugh, you're partnering with the Natural History Institute here at Prescott College, and they're presenting your film, Viva La Verde. So, uh, Hugh is actually a student, a, a alumni from Prescott College, about what, like seven, eight years ago? Graduated in 2011. 2011, and he's been working on this film that we're going to talk about. He started it as his senior project. I was here back then, and we would all hear about this Hugh guy that did this film for his senior project. And now I'm really excited because I actually get to talk to you about your senior project. So tell me about Viva La Verde. Yeah, so thanks for having me here, Rob. It's uh, great to be out. We're excited for our big pre premiere event tonight. And basically, um, Viva La Verde actually started as just a regular class project. It was conservation biology, and we were supposed to choose a topic of conservation concern. A lot of uh, my fellow students chose places all over the world, and uh, I just didn't want to line myself up for another internet research project. It's kind of why I came to Prescott College too, so I can get right. my hands dirty. And you know, so I picked the Verde River, our local conservation topic here, and was able to go interview people and go to the river and study in the old historical libraries and all these cool things and learn about it, you know, through more of an experiential way than just uh, your average research assignment. Then it really got some traction and it took off. I did a couple of independent studies filming down at the river. So we would go on 50 mile backpacking trips for spring break, bring the cameras, get a bunch of wildlife footage, line up some interviews over the summer and it kind of was a piecemeal thing that we put together and then at one point I was like, well, I may as well keep going with it. It's my senior project now, you know? And so I, I made it the senior project. We had a big presentation here and then it kind of got quiet, you know, school finished and everyone's like, oh, that was so cool you did that. And I had all these other opportunities and it really seemed like the best way that I could, you know, help my community and, uh, you know, really impact some positive change is to continue working on this with all the connections I already had. So we made another draft for the Wild and Scenic Film Festival. We made another draft for the Prescott Film Festival. Our Kickstarter community helped us fund this final edit. And seven years after it started, we're showing our completed project here tonight. Yeah, I think I, uh, I I'm not 100% sure if I actually contributed to the editing, but I've I've been involved in the process along as well, like working on stuff, and it's, it, I'm I'm so excited that it's gotten to this point. But just seeing the journey, that that it can go to, and the the crazy thing is, like he said, this is from a conservation biology class. Like we have students that take conservation biology usually, like I think once a year. Uh, Tom Fleischner teaches it, and yeah, Tom was the teacher. Tom was the teacher, so that's it. it not not much has changed, but and now check it out. We got stickers. We, we got, got T-shirts. We're gearing up for a big film tour. We got a hundred events coming, and in addition to that, we're going to be giving a free DVD to every school in Arizona. Wow! And public library. So basically, two thousand two hundred DVDs are going to be given away from the money from the Kickstarter community. Thanks again for that. And uh, we actually had a big sponsorship campaign the last six weeks and got 10 official sponsors to put their logos on this project. So, you know, as you said, you were a part of this. Many dozens of people have contributed and, you know, I stuck with it for a long time, kept coming back to it and working with various groups of people at various stages. And, you know, it's actually helped me form my own business, Human Productions. And it's basically a bunch of us productive humans like us getting around together and seeing what we can do, you know, to help environmental or social issues with our filmmaking. And so, as you'll see tonight, we got a uh, musicians, we've got you know speakers, we've got a whole lineup of events, and uh, we really hope to make it, you know, more than just a film. It's it's more about what we do with it, and it's a huge educate educational campaign to save the Verde River, to keep all of our rivers flowing. And you know, really to clue people into probably one of the best areas for conservation strategy. You know, if we want to succeed for wildlife and ourselves, um, is probably focusing on our rivers because they're one of the most important habitats to all species out there. So we want to get that message out to the community, and film is a great way to do it. But we're going to be on a hundred event film tour, so this is just event one. And so this is the the world premiere of. 
Yeah, we got a new edit. Nobody's yeah. seen this. People have come to many various versions of the film I, in the past. Yeah. And they're like, you're still showing this thing? No, I know, yeah. Everyone's like, you want to watch Viva La Verde? And I was like, I've seen it. Like, <laughs> it's like, not this one. Yeah, well, give me a pause. That's the beauty of shooting live sometimes. Helicopters will fly by and... It looks like uh, we're having some really important people fly into the show via helicopter. Yeah, right exactly. Now. Uh, people are coming from all over the state. We've got RSVPs. Uh, we've got a lot of the people that are in the film coming. So. Now, if someone who is watching the stream and isn't aware of the showing, how like when when is it tonight? Uh, yeah, 7 p.m. at Crossroads Center, Prescott College. We'll be going till about nine, and the film is only an hour, so we've got some nice time for speakers popcorn and uh, some nice mingling to go on and, uh, giving people an opportunity to get involved there and so you know it should be a great reason to get on off the couch and come on over and have a seat with us and enjoy a nice evening of community and talking about the past present and future of our rivers so this is event one and you said you have a hundred events yeah, well, we're lining them up as we speak. Our next event will be in April, and we'll be touring heavy in April and May to go to schools and events before the school year's over. And so we're probably going to do about 50 events at schools and 50 public venues. And our next big one is Paddle Fest down at Lake Pleasant. And we'll be working actually um, with one of the groups tonight who's there's a raffle going on, and you can win free kayak trips down the Verde River tonight. And uh, that is by South by, South by Southwest Adventures. They're hosting an a uh, paddle. They're hosting an event paddle fest down at Lake Pleasant on April seventh and eighth, and we'll be down there showing Viva La Verde, maybe even floating on the water. Wow! So people can watch it in kayaks. Oh, that would be amazing. So yeah. it's like you're watching the film as you're experiencing the film. Yeah, man. So, that would be nice. That's so, the idea. You know, we've been working as experiential educators and we're using the film, you know, to educate people, but we want to give them a more well-rounded experience, you know, than just passively watching the film. We want people to get involved with these issues. So. so it's funny that you brought that up because what I'm curious about is if someone's watching this who isn't in Prescott that wants to get involved, how could they see if like the tour is going to be coming through them? Like, Do you guys have a website or something? Yeah, so vivalaverde.org is where all of our information will be, also humanproductions.com. And basically we've got our events calendars and they're continually being updated and we'll be adding more and more events. Um, we're focusing our tour on the region where it most matters to our issue. So basically, it's a Western Rivers issue. So we'll be touring the Colorado River watershed. Mm. So there's seven states in the US and two in Mexico, and we'll be hitting all nine states. And if you're in the Colorado River watershed, send us an email and we'd love to set up an event coming into your town. Kind of like to throw it out there, Viva La Verde, coming to a river near you. There you go, couldn't have said that better myself. Coming to a river near you, Viva La Verde. We're here with Hugh, a Prescott College alum and uh, just great all-around guy. Thanks for coming, man. Hey, thanks for helping. Yeah, got definitely. Some great promotional material out tonight by Rob Milligan and all of his efforts. So it's great to be here and help you know what's going on tonight at Prescott College. Viva La Verde! Viva La Verde!